Hello everyone, this is Dragonheart and welcome to another recording session of Shogun 2, the Chosokabe Clan campaign. Welcome back to the campaign map and in the previous episode we did defeat uh, Miyoshi and we took Awa from them. As you can see by the little sad face there, Awa are not happy with us. So what we're going to do initially is repair, repair Awa. We have another enemy uh, three units from the enemy here, Yasuda Sujari, I think that's how you pronounce it. And they have a province here in Aw uh oh god, my my spelling not my spelling, my speech today is terrible. They have a province here in Awadri, which we're gonna try and take this part. I do have an army here. Chosokabe Kunichika, and we're gonna try and get you to take out this big army here. Rusu Mitsukazu. He has a full stack by the looks of things, so we're going to have to be careful. Now let's have a quick look at diplomacy. It's been a while since I looked at this. Let's see. The Amako are unfriendly. Miyoshi are hostile and Urukami are indifferent. I can't get trade with anyone. Which is kind of a shame any, any trade at the moment. I can recruit war horses of course which is good. Oh, we've leveled up here. Chosokabe Masayo. Masayo. And what do we want to get with you? Cavalry commander? Field attacker, field defender. Have a quick look. I should go to commander, siege expert. I wouldn't mind getting stand and fight actually. Need to get to level 4 for that. We will go for cavalry commander for now. That will help us. Keep our units here defending. Don't think as much I can do this turn. So let's a quick look. Just check everything. Have an army here. What do we, oops, what do we have here? One cavalry unit that might bring that into play. Nothing there. Repair the stronghold, that will help us uh, get our Ashigaru retainers. Yari Ashigaru and our samurai retainers to defend along with our army here. If we can repel them for as long as possible, then hopefully I can reinforce with my main army, which is here. Have a quick look at my family tree. Where's it gone? Clan management. Family and council. Kunichika is my daimyo. He is 45. Three honor. Chosokabe Masayo is my main guy. He's my best general. Five loyalty, three star general. Not bad. I think we can end turn. Let's end turn and we'll see how things go in this campaign. Here we go, Miyoshi. What are they doing? Where are they going? Oh. We're going to have to be very quick, guys. <laughs> They're going to go straight for my capital, I think. It's okay, I got a plan. Well, half a plan anyway. Let's see. This army. Shit, can't get there. Let's go back to Tosa with this army. Unfortunately, this general has got terrible movement speed, so I am kneecapped a little bit. If this army goes for Io, I can afford to lose Io because I can try and retake it. My aim is to take a Wajji and stop them. It's the only settlement, or at least I think it's the only settlement they have, let's see. Yes, province is one, Miyoshi. What we're going to do is take everyone out of the here. Oh my god, I'm just going to... There we go, that's what I wanted. Right, I shall see you all on the battlefield. Hello and welcome to the battlefield. Here we are. We are going to kick things off and try and defeat our enemy as quickly as we can. Now, our enemy are over here. They have Yari Ashigaru and Bo Ashigaru, one of each. The aim is going to be quite simple. Force them to attack me with one unit. Take them out with the cav. Should be fairly straightforward. We're going to try and hi hide the cavalry on the left flank where we have the trees. They are pushing forward with the bow, which is what I want because we can try to separate the enemy. As a matter of fact, the bow might even start firing on me. It looks like they're getting ready to fire. I don't think we're in range though, that's weird. Do they, they have superior range? I'm not sure. No, they're just repositioning. Of course not in range, what am I thinking? <laughs> and we have a wet battlefield. don't know if you guys like wet battlefields. I'm not keen on them, but I just picked the first option. I couldn't be bothered to wait to just get the get the win or try to get the win. 
position of cavalry on this flank here. Have a little look, oops, have a little look at our horses and get to position my cavalry. Joseph Kabe Masayo, the beast of Joseph Kabe. Right, the Ari Ashigaru, as expected, are going to go forward. Or are they? What are they doing? Not quite sure what they're going to do. Right, what we're going to do is bait them. Let's take my central unit. Bring him to about there. Let's get these bows out wide. Change our formation. I'm going to try and bait the uh, Yari Ashigaru unit to come forward. Once the unit comes forward, I can get some free shots on him. On the, on the unit, and then I should be. I can probably win this battle without taking losses. If I play my cards right, keep your eye on the bottom left at the unit numbers, what I currently have. I'm going to try and see if I can do this without any losses, or minimal losses, because it is possible on this difficulty. Basically, you just got to try to. Get your ranged units into position. Don't get baited into a. This is what I don't want. I don't want the bow units to move. Unfortunately, what's happened now is my cavalry's on the wrong flank. I can still make this work though. The bow units haven't started firing. And now they're going to reposition again. It's just repositioning everything basically. It's, it's a bit tedious. But by doing so, you are enabling yourself a good chance of a good victory in this battle. And of course, if I can get some decent victories, my level, my level, my general can level up. It's currently a three-star general. It'd be nice to get a four-star general in this campaign. Earlier in the campaign, I did talk about rebellions and how useful it can be. It's the same for these kind of small skirmishes. Minimize your losses. Try to inflict as much uh, damage on the enemy as possible. And in doing so, you give yourself a great chance for a great victory. And that's what I'm doing right now. Slowly but surely. The thing is, I'm quite new to Legendary difficulty. You can probably tell from watching me play Total War games. My micromanagement isn't as good as, as competitive players, but I'm able to still get the job done by doing things the way I'm doing them right now. So now I can bait this unit with this one unit here. And my other two can go in for the kill now. I'm not going to use, well, I can't use Flame Arrow anyway. Here we go, volley and run. Uh, took a few losses, unfortunately. But what was that? Four, five? Four, five? And we've taken 20 of theirs out. Now it's time to utilize the cav. Cavalry is going to be used. We flanked behind with the cavalry, now we can go for the kill. And all three of my bow units are going to aim. Oops, shit. Shit, 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 shit. That didn't go to plan. Oh, sloppy. Should be okay though. My cavalry is going to completely decimate the bow unit. I was a bit slow there, I took losses needlessly. Unfortunately. A glorious victory will soon be yours. And there we go, that's it. That's pretty much the battle. Poorly executed, but... Oop, I'm turning, stopping firing now. Poorly executed, but it worked in the end. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get all my bow units to stop firing. I'm just going to allow the cavalry to mop up. Let's get one cavalry to chase this unit about Yari Ashigaru while my general chases the bow Ashigaru. I'm going to fast forward this as well. And by doing so, my experience can go up, as you can see Our on the right hand side. Danger, my lord. Oops, I got bow units firing all over the place. What the hell's going on? <laughs> there you go, my general's got all his kills. And my other unit got all its kills. And we have a decisive victory. Excellent, I'm going to celebrate by having a drink. Ah, that's better. And now, fingers crossed, I can take Miyoshi out by taking their last settlement. So we lost 66, which 
I could have avoided if I was a bit better. And as you can see, they killed 61, which means I, I lost five to friendly fire. I was sloppy by taking the by taking the auto aim off. But anyway, it doesn't matter. We won. And my guy is literally walking on water at the moment. <laughs> and now we've got a clean way into a, a wadri. They have one unit there. I could auto resolve this, but I'm a bit skeptical about uh, auto resolving because my general will probably die because he only has 11 men left. So I'm going to fight this battle and I shall see you all on the battlefield. Hello everyone and welcome to the battlefield. Now I'm just going to use these three units, hopefully. Oops, get that off lock. Bring these units forward. They have no towers, so I know I can bring my units right up to the samurai retainers. They have, let's see, 86, 78, and 80 all together. Quite a lot of rounds all together as well. Get some valuable experience for them, then I can replenish once this battle is over. That is the aim, anyway. I don't want to burn the gates. This is the whole point I'm trying to make in this video now. I could walk up to the gates and burn this one down or that one down. It means that I have to spend money on the campaign map to repair them. It also means that for, an, for a turn at least an enemy could come in without having to burn the gates down themselves and they have a free kind of a free pass if you will to try and take out my unit. So that's something I want to try to avoid if at all possible. So that's why I'm going to use my uh, my bow units, my Chosokabe bow Ashigaru to Try to take out the samurai retainers if I can. Best way to do this would be to try to surround the enemy. Have my Yari Ashigaru close by if anything does go wrong. I know that the AI does sometimes like to sally out. It's not uncommon for that to happen in this game. I'm going to fast forward as well past the boring part just to get my men into position. Let's get a nice long line. Get them in range. Get them in range. Get them in range and then play. So now most of this battlefield is going to be covered. Arrows are going to come swarming in. They've lost one already. And all my men are starting to fire now. Get the flipping arrows on. And we can see the carnage. Flaming arrows, mixture of arrows. Oh, look at that. Lovely, lovely death for me. I'm to 48 already. I, I know it seems easy, but legendary difficulty can be difficult in an open field battle. But the CJI in this game, uh, people go on about the Rome 2 having a, a bad uh, AI, but in this game it tends to be the same as well. Not so much that it's bad. When, if, you, if you go into an open contest with them up on the top by here, it will be quite difficult. The AI does get lots of. of um, stat boosts and bonuses but it can be exploited make sure you've got enough bow units like this was a calculated uh, risk because I know that they had one unit here and I took out the bow unit that they had in the previous engagement so I knew that that I have an open an open pass basically to rain arrows upon the enemy which is what I'm doing right now down to 33 out of 60 29 and I got lots of arrows left to do this as well. I'm going to fast forward again because this is going to be a pretty short battle. Might not make the best viewing on YouTube. And as you can see I'm constantly getting hits on them because I'm covering pretty much all of the all of the land here. When they move, because they've got an automated kind of... The, the programming for the defending army basically has this programming where it goes around the perimeter goes here, back there, across there, down here. It's the way it's programmed, so they just keep wandering about aimlessly. And of course, with this being a general unit, whoever kills him does get the a big stat boost. So look at these down here, both on two. He, this one's on three. They might go up now in a second. One left. One of our units has used all its ammunition, my lord. We may see it now. Should have a boost. One of our uses out of ammunition. And this one, of course. <laughs> Does not matter. 
Let's go back to normal speed for a second. Basically, whoever kills the general in a battle gets a, like a mini boost, like bonus experience. So it's useful because my bow units can become pretty, pretty, pretty strong, pretty fast. That's what I'm going to do right now. Try and buff up my bow units as best as I can. Ashigaru, Bo Ashigaru, one retainer remaining. See the thing, the other thing as well, why I don't want to climb up here or burn the gates. Climbing up, I could take this unit of Yari Ashigaru, climb up. It has 120 men. I could lose about 30 to 40 from falling down. It would be a waste of manpower. It means I got to replenish them on the map. I could burn the gate. I might lose men if the gate explodes, which sometimes happens, so you do kind of have to manage it a little bit. Here we go, this guy's gonna fire Put some flaming arrows on. See if his if his uh experience look at the right hand side of the screen, look at the experience. See if it jumps up. Little test just to show you guys what I'm on about. If he kills a general here. Boom. There we go. I'm hoping it should register. Let's see. Did it work? I'm not sure. I don't know if it did, I'm not sure to be honest here. <laughs> Maybe it doesn't work in a siege battle, because that was a retainer, so it was it was sure. It might be if it was a proper army here with a proper general, even if it's not a family member, if it's just like a unit of Yari Ashigaru or something, it might have worked. Um we have to find out about that. But uh, you get the point anyway, that the point is that killing the general will give you a stat boost. In most cases, and we lost none, as you can see. Decisive victory, and we can peacefully occupy a wajri. And in doing so, we have eliminated the threat. Excellente! Look at that. Free re free reign now, basically. This army can go to Tosa. I'm now going to consolidate what I have. I have one, two, three, four, five regions altogether. Awad, awad, awad. Uh, Alwa are quite pissed. They minus six. So what we're going to have to do? I could exempt them, but I'm not going to. I'm going to try to to build up another army here. Uh, we want some Cav, Yari Ashigaru, and Bo Ashigaru. Three turns. If an army does suddenly appear, I will just try to repel it with my general, which is replenishing here. And I'm quite happy with how that went. Yep, I'm happy with how that went. We now have Shikoku. Shikoku is ours. And I'm very happy with this. So let's have a quick look at diplomacy. I've got to think now where to go next. We have five provinces. The Amako are up there, have one left. Not going to bother with them. The Urukami are right above us with three provinces. We might go for them. They are allied with the Beso, which I think are up here somewhere. So I think we'll probably, probably go for that. Ooh. Yeah, we're gonna go to Tosa for now with that army. And ooh, I'm actually not happy either. Ah, uh, they'd be fine in the turn, I think. Or at least they should be. Let's end turn. Ah, I'm so happy that I've finally got Shikoku. Took some doing, but we got there in the end. And now we can plot the next stage of this campaign. And also, let me know. Well, uh, oh God, I can't speak again. Let me know in the comment section below what you think I should do with this campaign. Do you think I should go for the Urukami here, take Bingo, Bizen, or if you've done a Chosokabe campaign before, what do you think is the best course for them to do? Because I've read some things that once you take a Shikoku, the best bets to go to Hyuga over here. Take Yuga, try and take the whole island here. I can't remember. Kyushu, that's the one. Kyushu. Try and take Kyushu. And then you have two islands to take on the mainland of Japan. That's something I'm thinking about. I might actually build a ship. Do I have a harbour? Oh, I need to upgrade to a trade port. Okay, so we need to upgrade to a trading port anyway, but. You know, what do you think I should, should I do? Let me know below. I'm going to get some road replenishment. No, I don't need that there. Not yet, anyway. Awadri. Oh, we have sword school and war horse. I don't think we need the sword school, do we? Maybe not. Minus four now. Could exempt them. What's the point? Wajri could exempt them. What's the point? Want to get that money, don't we? So there's no point doing that. 
Plus we got an army on the way. We can get some katana samurai. We can also get some katana cavalry, which I'm tempted to get. I don't have any katana cav, so... Oh, don't need it yet though, do we? Because I want to keep that money going. I want to keep the money going. This army can now go to Tosa. This is my main army, of course. Tosa, I need to recruit. I want to get two full stacks before I invade anyone. We have Chosakabi Bosam. Uh, why not? Get another one. Actually, no. We want to do civil stuff first, don't we? Get some civil stuff going. I'm going to end turn again. I'm hoping for the rebellion next. I want to have another rebellion before I leave this island. Try and get the experience going up again. Amako Yamana. Beso. There's the Beso. We might have discovered them now on the on the campaign map. Rebellion in Awa, excellent. Mission issued. Crush the rebellion in Awa, not a problem. We will be doing that. A daughter is born, excellent. Joseph Kabe, Sachiko. And we have some Yari Ashigaru in Awa as well to help us repel the rebellious scum. Who have three, four, five, six units all together. Oh, quarry and go stonemason. That would give me more wealth. That stonemason would be lovely, wouldn't it? But I need the trade import. So first things first, let's get a trade import. Could get a foot archery. Don't need that. Stronghold maybe. I don't know. I'm gonna go for a trade import here because I said in the previous turn that I need it. Um, take everyone out from here, maybe. Oh, it's risky in open field battle, mind. And Awa does have two units anyway, so I'm just going to leave them sit there for now. They should be suffering attrition, really, shouldn't they? I don't think they will, though. Ah, well. End turn. Quick end turn. See what the rebellion does. I'm not, I can't remember. If, did they grow in this game? It's been. See, the thing is, I, I haven't played for about two weeks, three weeks, so. No, two weeks. Was it two weeks I uploaded last? I think it was two weeks. Anyway, um, it's been a while. I'm trying to think. Do they... Ah, they've attacked. Okay, so we have got a battle on our hands. They have two units of bow, one cav. That's fine. We have... Don't, oh, shit, we don't have any bow. That's a shame. That's okay. I shall see you all on the battlefield.